in the last video we have seen how to create a pivot chart and we have created that pivot chart direct from the source data there is another way of creating the pivot chart create the pivot table first and from there you can create that pivot chart let us see how to do that the pivot table is ready under pivot table tools option take analyze tab under that consider pivot chart option and then you have to select the required chart say ok and the pivot chart is ready now let us understand the difference between a chart prepared from a regular data table and pivot chart to understand the difference I have created one chart from the data table selected year 2010 and displayed by month and then now let us see in pivot chart whether we can bring that kind of uh, view whether easily we can do that just remove the year and bring into access the display is now as good as the normal chart but in the normal chart we cannot change the display the way in pivot chart earlier it was like in the what you call year view this cannot be done even if you go to select data and then if you wanted to do it that summarization cannot be done in the normal chart so it proves that the pivot charts are more powerful than normal charts of course there are few limitations which we are going to discuss in the uh, next video from the comparison of a normal chart to a pivot chart we understood the importance and power of pivot chart now let us see how to manipulate the pivot chart as we have already seen in this video we can change the display of pivot chart by using the pivot chart table by dragging and dropping the re required fields into required areas also we can use slicers to play around with the pivot charts we have already discussed about slicers in our earlier videos how effective they are and how convenient they are so to add slicers to this pivot chart select the chart option just place the cursor on the chart option and then go to pivot chart tools analyze go to insert slicers and then since you have the fields year month quarter so select these fields and the slicers are ready now with these slicers you can manipulate this pivot chart very conveniently I wanted to see the display of only 2010 year I can see that and I wanted to see each quarter of all the years I can see that and so on so the pivot uh, chart can be manipulated by the pivot uh, slicers in a very effective way hope you understand and uh, if you have any questions please shoot so I have uh, I've got only very basic uh, topics and I want the users must come back and ask questions so that I can answer uh, their doubts and if the my videos are very interactive I'll feel very happy thank you very much please like share and subscribe